today we are going to be doing these rainbow fade nails you will just need to start off with a white base coat i needed two coats to make mine opaque enough My white is made by Revlon. Now I put a latex barrier around my nails because we are doing gradients today. And if you have short nails, you might have to put it at the top to make sure that you don't get nail polish all over yourself. My latex barrier is by Bliss Kiss. Next you'll need some makeup sponges for gradients and a rainbow variety of nail polishes. I don't have yellow so I just used pink instead and I'm going to label them all here because there's a lot. So my red is by NYC. My orange is by LA Colors. My green is by Sally Hansen. My blue is also by Sally Hansen. My purple is by Maybelline New York. And my pink is also by Maybelline New York. For the first gradient, you need orange and red. I, this is me trying to see which like side of the sponge will go on my nail correctly, but yeah, I ended up painting it wrong. I painted the red on the right side but it's supposed to go on the left side and the orange is supposed to go on the right side and not the left so sorry about that but um just that's how to fix that problem sorry that it's not shown the way it's supposed to be that just makes it more confusing Now you're gonna dab it onto your finger in a vertical motion, and this is my thumb. And you will need probably about two coats of dabbing it on. For whatever reason, my red was more pink on my nail, but yeah, and this is what it should look like after those two coats. And now we get to peel off the simply peel off of our thumb. The next gradient is orange and green on your pointer finger and this time I painted it on the right side, yay. You can actually use the same sponge by just cutting off what you already got nail polish on. Same stamping rules apply in all of these, but again, just vertical, and then it'll probably need two to three coats to be the right opacity. Now I get to peel off the Simply Peel from the pointer finger. Just saying these so you don't get confused and peel off the wrong one or put it on the wrong finger because that would be bad. And now blue and green on your middle finger. 
and um so again i just cut it off and i'm basically just putting these in here because they're very fun to watch but again all the rules are the same so i'm just gonna be quiet for a little bit now Now peel the simply peel off of your middle finger and only your middle finger. Now blue and purple on your ring finger. If you're confused on what to do with the sponge, whatever you want on the left side of your nail you paint on the right side of the sponge and you will be using each color twice to make sure that the rainbow is a fade and not just blue purple green it's like blue purple green if you understand what i mean by that And now we peel off our second to last peely, and this is from our ring finger. And finally, purple and pink on our pinky. Do your final peel and then you will add a top coat. My top coat was matte, but I think this would also look really cool with glossy or a hollow top coat maybe. And then it would be a double rainbow. But yeah, that's it for this nail art. But after this, I'm going to have some explanatory stuff if you are just very, very confused. My matte top coat is by Sally Hansen. Now for the extra explanatory bit. So I'm going to put the red on the right side of the sponge and it will show up on the left side of the nail. So if I put the blue on the left side of the sponge, which side of the nail will it show up on? If you guessed the blue would be on the right side, you were correct. So you can do this hand position with your right hand having the rainbow fade be correct with the tutorial, the tutorial that I've shown you. Again, I messed up on my thumb, that's okay. But on your left hand, you're gonna have to reverse it because it would not make sense if you put red and orange on your thumb and then had it be pink and purple on your pinky. So basically on your right hand, your thumb will need to be red and orange, which will fade to your pointer being orange and green. Then to your middle, which would be green to blue, then to ring, which would be blue to purple. 
and then finally your pinky which would be purple to pink and on your left hand it's basically going to be swapped so on your pinky you're going to be the red to the orange on your ring the orange to the green on your middle the green to your blue on your pointer the blue to your purple and then finally on your thumb the purple to the pink and i hope this diagram kind of helps and i'm just gonna leave it without my hands on it for a second so you can screenshot it if that hasn't made sense and i hope this helps a little bit thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed goodbye